Hello there guys, uh, today I would like to talk about the round deck twin band and selecting equivalent think of a straight deck using an hair deck calculator to size the diameter of the twin band and main deck determining losses through the main deck due to friction loss and through the twin band due to changes in direction based on uh, air flow air velocity and pressure this is uh, part three of our discussion on around deck twin band so by the end of this uh, video you're going to be able to size the round deck twin band and determining air velocity by using an air deck calculator based on the airflow as you can see this is a round deck uh, twin band which is uh, connected to a main deck to change the direction of the airflow that can cause dynamic losses in the system to occur uh, due to changes in the direction uh, let's uh, get started by sizing diameter of the main deck and twin band for example we have a uh, 3000 cubic feet of uh, airflow we want this uh, airflow to be divided by two and to be delivered into a two zen so we need to know what size of main deck and twin band and what air velocity and uh, feeding loss conversion factor we need for our system to determine the size of uh, square round and oval deck and hair velocity i always use a software but in this example uh, i'm going to use an hair deck calculator so if you use an hair deck calculator and setting the 3000 cfm at the static pressure of 0.1 inch of uh, water column per 100 feet of deck work uh, will get a required diameter of 21 inches with an air velocity of uh, 1300 uh, fpm for our main deck. And if we do the same way, in order to size the diameter of the right and left side of our twin band by setting the 1500 CFM at the friction loss of uh, 0.1 inch of uh, water column per 100 feet of deck work as we just did for the main deck and will get a required diameter of 16 inches uh, with an air velocity of 1100 uh, FPM. And here as you can see in the example, we have a diameter of 21 inches for a volume flow rate of uh, 3000 CFM with an air velocity of uh, 1300 uh, FPM at a friction loss of uh, 0.1 inch of water column per 100 feet of deck work and a diameter of uh, 16 inches for a volume flow rate of uh, 1500 cfm with an air velocity of uh, 1100 fpm at the uh, friction loss of 0.1 inch of water column per 100 feet of uh, deck work for the right side of our twin band and again a diameter of uh, 16 inches uh, for a volume flow rate of uh, 1500 cfm with an air velocity of uh, 1100 fpm at the friction loss of 0.1 inch of water column per 100 feet of uh, deck work for the left side of our twin band. Uh, therefore, if you use uh, feeding loss uh, conversion factor uh, table based on the main deck air velocity, which is uh, 1300 FPM, so for uh, 1300 FPM the table rates uh, 1.16 and this is a corrected uh, equivalent uh, length of uh, straight deck uh, table for the twin band and we use this uh, table for the round deck twin band to find the equivalent length of uh, straight deck 
So if we divide the radius of this uh, twin band by its uh, diameter, we'll get uh, 0.5. So we simply select an equivalent length of uh, 37 feet for the right and left side of our twin band. So we have a total equivalent uh, length of uh, 37 feet plus uh, 37 uh, equals 74 feet and if we multiply the total equivalent uh, length of uh, 74 feet by a fitting loss uh, conversion factor of uh, 1.16 will get a corrected uh, total equivalent length of uh, 86 uh, feet for our round twin band and then if we divide the total equivalent length of uh, 86 feet by 100 and then multiplying it by a design flow loss of uh, uh, 0.1 will get a loss of uh, 0.086 inch of uh, water column and doing the same process for the main deck by simply dividing the total length of uh, the main deck which is uh, 50 feet long by 100 and then multiplying it by the design flow loss of uh, 0.1 will get a loss of 0 0.05 inch of water column and then finally adding the total deck length of uh, 0, 0.0 5 to the total equivalent length of uh, 0 0.086 uh, will get a total loss of uh, 0.36 uh, inch of uh, water column so this is an estimated loss uh, which is uh, created by the total deck length of uh, 50 feet long and a twin band for the system that we have just uh, calculated so that's it for today i appreciate you for watching this video